see me again. You've got all of that to come. You and me. Time and space. You watch us run. I'm gonna need a pack lunch. Hang on. What's in that book? Spoilers. Who are you? That's a river song, University of... To me. Who are you to me? Again. Spoilers. Chicken and a bit of salad. Knock yourself out. Right, you lot. Let's all meet the Vashta Narada. Darling, Dr. Moon is going now, but he'd like a word with you alone. Is that all right? Yes, of course, Dr. Moon. Thank you. Now, listen. This is important. There's the real world, and there's the world of nightmares. That's right, isn't it? You understand that? Yes, I know, Dr. Moon. What I want you to remember is this, and I know it's hard. The real world is a lie, and your nightmares are real. The library is real. There are people trapped in there. People who need to be saved. The shadows are moving again. Those people are depending on you. Only you can save them. Only you. You travel with him, don't you? The doctor, you travel with him. What of it? Proper Dave, could you move over a bit? Why? I would have a thought to go You know him, don't you? Oh, God, do I know that man. We go way back, that man and me. Just not this far back. I'm sorry, what? He hasn't met me yet. I sent him a message, but it went wrong. It arrived too early. This is the doctor in the days before he knew me. And he looks at me. He looks right through me, and it shouldn't kill me, but it does. What are you talking about? Are you just talking rubbish? Do you know him, or don't you? Donna! Quiet. I'm working. Sorry. Donna. You're Donna. Donna Noble. Yeah. Why? I do know the doctor, but in the future, his personal future. Well, so why don't you know me? Where am I in the future? OK, got a live one. That's not darkness down those tunnels. This is not a shadow. It's a swarm, an eating swarm. The piranhas of the air, the Vashta Narada. Literally, the shadows that melt the flesh. Most planets have them, but usually in small clusters. I've never seen an infestation on this scale. All oh, this aggressive. What do you mean, most planets? Not Earth? Hmm. Earth. A billion other worlds. Where well, there's mink, there's Vashta Narada. You can see them sometimes, if you know. The dust in sunbeams. If they were on Earth, we'd know. Nah. Normally, they live on roadkill. Sometimes people go missing. Not everyone comes back out of the dark. Every shadow? No. But any shadow. So what do we do? Daleks, same for the ice stalk. Sontarans, back of the neck. Vashti Narada. Run. Just run. <gasps> I'm sorry, she's been dead a while now. I told you to go! Lux can manage without me. But you can't. Auto destruct in two minutes. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, what are you doing? That's my job. Oh, and I'm not allowed to have a career, I suppose. Why am I handcuffed? Why do you even have handcuffs? Spoilers. This is not a joke. Stop this now. This is going to kill you. I'd have a chance. You don't have any. You wouldn't have a chance, and neither do I. I'm timing it for the end of the countdown. There'll be a blip in the command flow. That way it should improve our chances of a clean download. River, please, no. Funny thing is, 
This means you've always known how I was going to die. All the time we've been together, you knew I was coming here. The last time I saw you, the real you, the future you, I mean, you turned up on my doorstep with a new haircut and a suit. You took me to Derillium to see the singing towers. Oh, what a night that was. The towers sang. And you cried. Auto destruction. You wouldn't tell me why. But I suppose you knew it was time. My time. Time to come to the library. You even gave me your screwdriver. That should have been a clue. There's nothing you can do. You can let me do this! If you die here, it'll mean I've never met you. Time can be rewritten. Not those times. Not one line. Don't you dare. It's okay. It's okay. It's not over for you. You'll see me again. You've got all of that to come. You and me. Time and space. You watch us run. River, you know my name. Auto destruct it. You whispered my name in my ear. Nine. Eight. Seven. There's only one reason I would ever tell anyone my name. Five. There's only one time I could. Oh, shh. Four. Three. Spoilers. Two. Nothing here is real. The whole world, everything, none of it's real. Am I real? Of course you're real. No, you're real. Of course. Of course you're real. did it. 4,022 people saved. When you run with the doctor, it feels like it will never end. But however hard you try, you can't run forever. Everybody knows that everybody dies. And nobody knows it like the doctor. But I do think that all the skies of all the worlds might just turn dark if he ever, for one moment, accepts it. Why? Why would I give him my screwdriver? Why would I do that? The thing is, future me had years to think about it. All those years to think of a way to save her. And what he did was give her a screwdriver. Why would I do that? Look at that! I'm very good! What have you done? Saved her. Stay with me! You can do it! Stay with me! Come on! You and me! One last run! Sorry, River. Shortcut. Platform disabled. Everybody knows that everybody dies. But not every day. Not today.
It's okay. You're safe. You'll always be safe here. The doctor fixed a data call. This is a good place now. But I was worried you might be lonely, so I brought you some friends. Aren't I, clever girl? Aren't we all? For heaven's sake. He just can't do it, can he? That man, that impossible man. He just can't give in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some days are special. Some days are so, so blessed. Some days, nobody dies at all. Once in a very long while, every day in a million days when the wind stands fair and the doctor comes to call. Everybody lives. Wrong, wrong, bit right, mostly wrong. I love museums. Yeah, great. Can we go to a planet now? Big spaceship, Churchill's bunker. You want to be a planet next? Amy, this isn't any old asteroid. It's the Delirium Archive, the final resting place of the headless monks. The biggest museum ever. You've got a time machine. What do you need museums for? Wrong! Very wrong. Oh, one of mine. Also one of mine. Oh, I see. It's how you keep score. an old box. It's from one of the old Starliners. A home box. What's a home box? Like a black box on a plane, except it homes. Anything happens to the ship, the home box flies home with all the flight data. So? The writing, the graffiti, old high Gallifreyan. The lost language of the Time Lords. There were many days these words could burn stars and raise up empires and topple gods. What does this say? Hello, sweetie. Dr. Saul. Why are we doing this? Because someone on a spaceship 12,000 years ago is trying to attract my attention. Let's see if we can get the security plan back working. The party's over, Dr. Song. Yet still you're on board. <laughs> Sorry, Alistair. I needed to see what was in your vault. Do you all know what's down there? Any of you? Because I'll tell you something. This ship won't reach its destination. Wait till she runs. Don't make it look like an execution. Triple seven five slash three four nine by ten. Zero twelve slash acorn. Oh, and I can do with an air corridor. What was that? What did she say? Coordinates! Like I said on the dance floor, you might want to find something to hang on to. Woo! 
your eyes. You're on the flight deck. The doctor's here. I teleported you. See? Told you I could get it working. River Song, I could bloody kiss you. Oh, maybe when you're older. Sorry. The angels are draining the loss of the ship's power, which means the shield's gonna release. Angel Bob, I presume. The time field is coming. It will destroy our reality. Man, yeah, look at you all running away. What can I do for you? There is a rupture in time. The angels calculate that if you throw yourself into it, it will close and they will be saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could do, could do that. But why? Your friends would also be saved. Well, there is that. I've traveled in time. I'm a complicated space time event too. Throw me in. I'll be serious. Compared to me, these angels are more complicated than you. It take every single one of them to amount to me, so get a grip. Doctor, I can't let you do this. No, seriously. Get a grip. You're not gonna die here. No, I mean it. River, Amy, get a grip. Oh, you genius. Sir, the angels need you to sacrifice yourself now. The thing is, Bob, the angels are draining all the power from this ship, every last bit of it. And you know what? I think they've forgotten where they're standing. I think they've forgotten the gravity of the situation. Or to put it another way, angels. You hold on tight and don't you let them for anything. No, no. I've got 12 minutes. That's good. 12 minutes to live. How is that good? Oh, you can do loads in 12 minutes. It's like a mint, buy a sledge, have a fast bath. Come on, through. We can't leave you here dead. Oh, good. Are you in charge now? So tell me, what are we going to do about Amelia? Where'd she go? Amelia! There is no Amelia. From now on, there never was. History is still collapsing. How can I stop here if she's not? You're an anomaly. We all are. We're all just hanging on at the eye of the storm. But the eye is closing, and if we don't do something fast, reality will never have happened. Today, just dying is a result. Now, come on! He won't die. Time can be rewritten. He'll find a way. I know he will. Move it! Come on! Is shrinking. Is anybody listening to me? The universe is collapsing. 
We don't have much time left. What are you doing? Looking for the TARDIS? Well, the TARDIS exploded. OK, then I'm looking for the exploding TARDIS. I don't, I don't understand. So the TARDIS flew up and took the universe with it, but why would it do that? How? Good question for another day. The question for now is, total event collapse means that every star in the universe never happened, not one single one of them ever shone. So if all the stars that ever were are gone, then what is that? Like I said, I'm looking for an exploding TARDIS. But that's the sun, is it? Well, here's the noise that sun is making right now. That's my TARDIS burning up. That's what's been keeping the Earth warm. Doctor, there's something else. I'm sorry. There's a voice. I'm sorry. I can't hear anything. Trust the plastic. I'm sorry, my love. Doctor, that's River. How can I'm she sorry, be up there? Love. I'm sorry, my love. It must be like a recording or something. No, it's not a recording. Of course, the emergency protocols. The TARDIS has sealed off the control room and put her into a time loop to save her. She is right at the heart of the explosion. I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry, my love. I'm sorry, my love. Hi, honey. I'm home. And what sort of time do you call this? Amy. And the plastic centurion. It's OK, he's on our side. Really? Yeah. I dated an Estine duplicate once. Swappable head. Do keep things fresh. Right then, I have questions. But number one is this. What in the name of sanity have you got on your head? It's a fez. I wear a fez now. Fezes are cool. Stay back. Whatever happens now, you do not interfere. Clear? That's an astronaut. That's an Apollo astronaut in a lake. <laughs> Sorry.
Whatever that was, it killed him in the middle of his regeneration cycle. His body was already dead. He didn't make it to the next one. <laughs> Maybe he's a clone or a duplicate or something. I believe I can save you some time. That most certainly is the doctor. And he is most certainly dead. He said you'd need this. Gasoline. A Time Lord's body is a miracle. Even a dead one. There are whole empires out there who rip this world apart for just one cell. We can't leave him here. Or anywhere. Wake up. Come on, wake up, you stupid bloody idiot. <laughs> what do we do, Rory? We're his friends. We do what the doctor's friends always do. As we're told. The boat. We're gonna do this. Let's do it properly. Oh, the silence. You guys take that seriously, don't you? Okay. You got me. I'm lying. I'm not really gonna let you go that easily. Nice thought, but it's not Christmas. First. You tell me about the girl. Who is she? Why is she important? What's she for? Yeah, we're the of the Guys, sorry, but you're way out of time. Now, come on, a bit of history for you. Aren't you proud? Because you help. Now, do you know how many people are watching this live on the telly? Half a billion. And that's nothing, because the human race will spread out among the stars. You've just watched them fly billions and billions of them for billions and billions of years. And every single one of them, at some point in their lives, will look back at this man taking that very first step, and they will never, ever forget it. OK, Oh, but they'll forget this bit. Ready? Ready. That's one small step for man. You should get a small fight. You should get a small sight. You should get a small fight. You should get a small sight. You've given the order for your own execution, and the whole planet just heard you. And one whacking great kick up the backside for the silence. You just raised an army against yourself. And now, for a thousand generations, you're going to be ordering them to destroy you every day. How fast can you run? Because today's the day the human race throw you off their planet. They won't even know they're doing it. I think, quite possibly, the word you're looking for right now is... Oops! Run! Guys, I mean us. Run! No, no, we are not leaving without you. Oh, Luke, just get your stupid face out of here! Run! Into the TARDIS, quickly!
poor fellow didn't see that, did he? He gets ever so cross. So, what kind of doctor are you? Archaeology. Love a tomb. You could come with us. I escape often enough, thank you. And I have a promise to live up to. You'll understand soon enough. Okay. Up to you. See you next time. Call me. What? That's it? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Have I forgotten something? Oh, shut up. What's wrong? You're acting like we've never done that before. We haven't. We haven't. Oh, look at the time. It must be off. Um, but it was very nice. It was... It was good. It was, uh, unexpected. You know what they say? It's the first time for everything. And the last time... I'm going to need thermo couplings, the green ones and the blue ones. OK, hold on. So? So? You OK? Fine. Head's a bit weird. There's lots of stuff I can't quite remember. <laughs> After effect of the silence, naturally enough, that's not what I was asking. You told me you were pregnant. Yes. Why? Because I was. I mean, I, I thought I was. Turns out I wasn't. No, why did you tell me? You're my friend. You're my best friend. Mm. Did you tell Rory? No. Amy, why tell me and not Rory? Why do you think? I travelled with you in the TARDIS for so long. All that time. If I was pregnant for some of it, wouldn't it have had an effect? I don't want to tell Rory his baby might have three heads, or like a, a time head or something. What a time head? I don't know, but what if it had one? <laughs> a time head. Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> My stupid face. Uh, yeah? Hello. Taking that away from you if you're going to listen in all the time. OK, that's, that's a fair point. But you should have told me that you thought you were pregnant. I'm a nurse. I'm good with pregnancy. Not as it turns out that good. So can you stop being stupid? Uh, no. Never. <laughs> I'm never, ever going to stop being stupid. So, this little girl, it's all about her. Who was she? Or oh, we could just go off and have some adventures. Anyone in the mood for adventures? Cos I am. You only live once. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.